squash that was quite inexpensive there. You need these at all these or Walmart. And they actually got it on Kroger for sale. So there's a couple little tricks to butternut squash. It seems a little intimidating, but to buy it already chopped is of course very expensive. And we do know that food prices are pretty insane right now. And sorry for men yelling all the time. I don't know why. So we're just gonna cut the ends off. And I do also need to mention that I am going to be using walnuts. I just bought these as the baking walnuts and just chop them a little bit more finely. Um, I'm going to be using extra virgin olive oil. And then this is fresh rosemary from my garden. It depends on where you live, of course. Will your rosemary ever winter or not? In Nashville, it will not. So I'm just kind of watching my temperatures like super carefully. I cover it when it gets a teeny bit cold and I'm probably gonna have to like take it out of its little, you know, herb garden and bring it inside and put some bright lights on it during the winter to keep it dry. But maybe you're lucky enough to live someplace where it will over winter. Um, my vegetable seasoning mate from Girl Mates, there's a link below. This stuff makes keto doable. Just you gotta buy it. It's like eight or nine dollars. This thing will last about a year. Not quite sure when it goes back, but I did buy a new one. But anyhow, just sprinkle the any of your roasted vegetables and you're like, oh, I can do keto now. Keto's not so bad. So anyhow, I went ahead and cut off the one end. You don't have to wash it because we're gonna cut that skin off. And of course, you know, you always wonder like, how do I get that butternut squash? You definitely need a good knife. For sure, I need a good knife. I love these Cuisinart knives, they're awesome. So then I am going to cut off the ends and then I'm gonna also just chop down the middle. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of pressure on the middle. Be careful, do not cut your finger off. That would not be good. So I'm just gonna kind of go around the middle there. And that's to me the hardest part and do absolutely 100% careful with that. So now it's I've cut it in the middle and you can see the seeds. Of course, you don't want the seeds. Now it's going to be much easier. Again, be very, very careful with that, please. And then you're going to see the seeds. Of course, we don't want that. So I'm going to take cakes, let it spin. And I'm just going to scoop the seeds out. Just scoop the stuff out, just like pumpkin. You know, you're just going to scoop it out. Get that all nice and scooped out. I've never roasted these, but I'm sure you can roast them. I'm sure they're very healthy. So I push those to the side. And you can So we now have the butternut squash. You don't want to include the skin. If you include a little bit of skin, it's not that big of a problem. But I'm going to just, with my very sharp knife, cut the skin off. And it does feel like you're wasting a lot. But, you know, the whole butternut squash costs like a dollar. Two dollars, and when you buy it pre-packaged, it does tend to cost quite a bit of money. So again, but if you're really short on time, please go ahead and buy the one that's already pre-packaged. <laughs> again, I am a keto expert. Butternut squash is not keto, but for a nice little treat, it, it is very, very healthy. So as I'm maintaining my keto weight loss, I do start to add back in berries and squashes and such like that. I'm not gonna add white bread, but I do add in things that are healthy <laughs> that I might have skipped when I was trying to be really strict keto. So anyhow, just eventually you get nice little chunks on these a little bit. Get your little chunks, they should look about like that. And we're just going to drop them onto our other plate. And we're just gonna keep doing that until we have a pan full of butternut squash. And then, already, so I am back. So it took me probably about 10 minutes or so to cut up that butternut squash. Um, again, butternut squash, if you are actively trying to lose weight on the keto diet, I would avoid it for a little bit, but you don't want to avoid it for too long because it is just so very healthy for you. Anything that's dark and colorful, we think about a wide array of colors. Um, look at that deep, dark orange. That just means it's full of carotene, which actually fights cancer. And it's gonna make you feel younger and definitely reintroduce this as soon as you feel comfortable and you're just in the maintenance part of the 
you go. So I got a lot of squash out of that one squash, much better bargain than if I had bought it pre-packaged. So now what I'm going to do is just take a brush and some extra virgin olive oil, and I'm just going to put that olive oil on there generously, probably about a half cup. This happened to be a little bit of a bigger squash, so of course just adjust accordingly. So we're just gonna get it nice and covered. It's going to be at a 400 degree oven. Do you remember that you're going to have a shallow oven pan below with parchment paper, really important. So anyhow, the next thing I'm going to do is the Grill Master's Vegetable Seasoning Mix, no salt. This has a little bit of salt in it and that's just plenty of salt. Um, probably about a tablespoon full would be my guess. So I'm just gonna shake it generously and just so it's kind of covered with the vegetable seasoning from the comic. Oh, I love this stuff. You can order on Amazon. It's been a little bit tricky to find lately. Oh, here you go. So I know, just nice and generously covered. Perfect, though, right? Love it. So I'm next going to use some walnuts. These are baking walnuts. They're the cheapest I could find. They're the great value at Walmart. They were not terribly expensive, but we know Walmart are super healthy for your body and for your brain and just use them whenever you can. I did take my nice sharp knife. I love those. These are nice. I got those on Amazon. They've been so amazingly awesome. And I did chop them up a little bit more. So we're just going to use about a half a cup of walnuts. So again, so far this whole meal has cost me about $2.50. Not too expensive. So I do grow my rosemary fresh. Um, you know, depends where you live, if you can overwinter or not. But, you know, a couple of sprigs of rosemary. I'm just going to use very sharp scissors. And I'm just going to cut little bits of rosemary over there. So not that it's free, but my rosemary is growing a lot this summer, so it's practically free. So definitely it's worth a grow light. There's a link below on Amazon. I do know that if it gets too far below freezing, my rosemary will die and it will not come back. Very <laughs> sad, it makes me cry. So I'm gonna bring it inside with a grow light and it will look pretty much not super happy the whole entire winter, but then it goes back outside. It gets a lot healthier and a lot happier. It's just as long as it survives and it's kind of expensive to keep rebuying it every season. So that to me seems the best alternative and the grow light you only have to invest in one time. And there's a link below on Amazon for that grow light. To me, herbs just make that meal just so much more amazing. And we know how expensive food is right now, so using some fresh herbs is just going to make everything just taste so much more yummy and delish. But not just that, we also know that fresh herbs have cancer fighting properties and are your immune system so you know there's just so many good reasons to use your fresh, herb, fresh herbs i do use them in my bone broth for sure so anyhow i'm going to keep cutting a bit of rosemary there you okay. just want to avoid the very top little ends just keep trimming that okay so this is what the final dish looks like it, i'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven at 400 degrees Please do not do higher, it will burn very pretty quickly. And then I'll check it after 20 minutes, see how it's doing, and I'm gonna take my towels and really turn it over just a little bit. Alrighty, so the butternut squash was done. It was about 20 minutes. I did add an extra five minutes to get a little bit more brown.